have to do that. Do I have to do what? Follow me. Well, what do you want me to do, jump over you? Stop it now, fellas. Why do you two have to argue all the time? You threw the paper, Dad? Yeah, the paper when you... There you go again. What do I do now? You do everything I do. That's what you do now. Hey, will you cut it out? Yeah, I'm still working on the sports section. You can have that part of it. I just want the classified. What can I read? The funnies. I already read them. I thought I heard Robin Hood's band of merry man. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. ha. yourself to the galley of doing some of your chores. Fresh coffee, Steve? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Well, maybe a half a cup. All right. Classified? Uh, what are you looking for in the classified section, Mike? I'm looking for a way to earn a little spending money. Uh, what'd you do with the spending money I gave you last night? Well, I spent it. Are we gonna get some extra spending money? I'm gonna get me a rubber mouse, some yellow yarn. What are you gonna do with the yellow yarn, Chip? The kitten. What kitten? The kitten. I'm gonna get with the extra spending money. What extra spending money? The extra spending money you said you were gonna give us this morning. Oh, no, no, no. You, you misunderstood, Chip. You got your allowance the same as Robin Mike did last night. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know an odd job if it was staring you in the face. Oh, yeah? I could get a job just as easy as you. Why are we all so cheerful this morning? Oh, just because oh. I'm looking for an odd job. Lame brain here thinks he wants to, too. You mean work? Well, sure, yeah. You guys must be sick or something. There's nothing wrong with me. A little money wouldn't cure. Money, 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 money. Is that all you fellas ever think of? Well, you gotta have money to do things. Did you ever think of doing something for somebody sometime just to, well, to be doing something for somebody sometime? What do you mean? We do lots of things. Sure we do. Like what? Well, uh, uh... <laughs> well, helping's all right during the week, uh, but this is Saturday and I need money. Yeah, this is Saturday and tonight we need money. Da, 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 da. Why don't you butt out, little Sir Echo? Oh, boy. One of these days. Just, just one of these days. Just one. Darn, Mike. Man. You can get yourself a clean towel and start on these. Oh, I'd like to show that, Mike, just one time. Morning, Bob. Hi, Harry. Hi, Rod. Hey, Harry. What's new? Oh, nothing much. The same old grind. Hey, Harry? Mm-hmm. Um, you know where I can get some little job of some kind? You've got some little job of some kind right here now. Wipe those dishes. I mean to make some money. Money, money, money. Hey, uh, let me see. Jensen's fence needs painting. Jensen? Boy, you said it. Shame to let a place run down like that. Oh, I guess it isn't easy when you're living on a pension. <laughs> Douglas, eh? Stephen Douglas's boy? Yes, sir. And you know I'll do a good job because I need the money back. That's fine now. Oh, Sarah! We're gonna be late. You'll find the paint back there in the garage with the brushes and the rags, too. Oh, Sarah! Coming! Well, thanks a lot, Mr. Jensen. By the time you come back tonight, you won't even recognize the place. Good boy. Why, hello there, Robbie. Hi, Miss Jensen. I'm gonna paint your fence. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> the real go-getter, that boy. Just like his paw. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. You know, you never look prettier. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. What's the matter? I was just talking to Robbie's brother on the phone. Well? I told him he could paint the fence. <laughs> That's nothing to worry about. Well, won't it cost twice as much? No, we're paying them by the hour. They ought to finish in half the time. Might even cost us less for the two boys working together. Well, that's real nice. My Steve Douglas is a lucky man to have two boys working together, side by side, yep. hand in hand. Brotherly love. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. That's my job. Yeah, who said so? Mrs. Jensen said so. That's who said so. Oh, yeah, well, Mr. Jensen oh, said so to me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 You missed me. Yeah? Yeah. Jensen gave me I don't the care job. what Mrs. Jensen said. It. Yeah, yeah. Big yeah, Mrs. Jensen, yeah, while you go yeah, talk to Mr. Yeah. Jensen. Hey, hey. You squirts quit arguing. What? Yeah, well, we're working. Yeah. So go play somewhere else. <laughs>
Miss Foster said to stay close by so she could keep an eye on her. And I'm spending the day at Huey's. And my mom had to go to a ladies' club. Okay, okay, then go play at Mrs. Foster's so she can watch you. She says you shouldn't like it. Well, she's right. Only she's getting paid to listen to you, and we're not. So go play someplace else. We're paying. Can we help? No. no. We've got as much right here as you. Yeah, it's a public street. Out, out. Public boy. Yeah, public street. Bunch of babies. Well, uh, that's a nice thing about growing up. You can settle your problems without fighting. Well, the way we have. Right. Uh, those two kids are always arguing about something. Well, uh, do you want to take the front or the back? Of course, uh, if you take the front, you have to be careful because that's the side that everybody sees. Huey! Boy, I never Chip. acted like those two, did I, when I was a kid? Huey! Chip! We'll split 50-50, and you can have the back. Here, shake on it. Shake on what? Well, let's get started. Get started on what, Mike? Now, listen, Mike, this is my job. Well, a deal's a deal. Deal? What deal? You Look, I'm, you're asking for it, Mike. I'm going to knock your head clean off. Just in fence, Mike? Oh, uh, yes, I am, Mrs. Foster. But well, my brother is helping me. Helping you? Oh, that's real yeah, nice. Hey, you're nice. Hey, nice. These brutes are up. Poor old Mr. Jensen. Oh, boy, oh, hey. Hey, hey, come on, you guys. I told you we're working on what I mean. Get out. Oh, hey, come on. Get out of here. Come on, get out of here. Chip, will you get out? Chip, darn it, Mike. Jeez, they're painting Jensen's face. Yeah, I mean, I'm painting it. Hey, darn it, Mike, that's my paint. No, that's your paint. What are you talking about? We weren't here, Nathan. Besides, we got a problem. Your mama left some sandwiches and a big pitcher of lemonade in the refrigerator whenever you and Chip get hungry. Okay. Look, this is my job. I found it first. You found it first? What do you mean? I talked to Mrs. Jensen on the phone and what she gave the job. You're going to mean... sand before you paint, aren't you? Sand? <laughs> sand? Hal, you know my husband. He says you always have to sand before you paint. <laughs> oh, um... Well, Mr. Jensen didn't mention anything about sanding. Besides, we don't have any sandpaper. Yeah. Oh, we have some I can let you have. Huey! <laughs> Huey, go look in the garage and bring that package of sandpaper, will you? Okay. Well, uh, this, this fence is no worse than our garage, and uh, we painted that without sanding. Well, I don't know. Hal always says what's worth doing is worth doing right. How are you guys doing? Or I should say, who are you guys doing? Hi, bud. Hi, Mr. O'Casey. Hi, Mrs. Foster. Been to the store? This is the second trip today. The way these guys eat, we might just as well set up housekeeping down there in the parking lot. We couldn't find the sandpaper. Great. Oh, well, let's go. Hey, yeah. you guys, where'd hey, you get this Hey, wait a minute. Now, listen, Mike, you... Where'd you get this paint? <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Jensen had it in his garage, but Mike's been trying to muscle in, and how am I supposed... Muscle Did you strain it? Found these paper cups. Do we have them? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I'm sure we have some sandpaper somewhere. Hey, let's go get some more stuff. Did there, you boy. look in the... Hi, Mr. Kincaid. What's the trouble? No trouble. Jensen's are getting their fence painted. About time, I'd say. Don't start painting yet, boys. I'm going home to see if I can find that sandpaper for you. What kind of sandpaper? <laughs> Brand new paint, Bob. Yeah. Why should it need to be strained? Oh. Cheesecloth can be used for something like this. Or a piece of window screen. Clean screen, of course. Or even a, an old lady stocking. <laughs> I, mean, I mean a lady's old stocking. <laughs> what are you using for thinner? Fine, medium, or rough? Gee, medium, I guess. The kind Hal always uses, you know. No good. Not for this kind of work. Hal uses it for everything. Well, what they need is a good rough sandpaper for that old fence. Well, just look at it, bub. It doesn't need thinning. Yeah. Well, sure, it looks all right now, but how about later? What do you think, <laughs> Casey? Oh, hello, Kincaid. Howdy. Now, go on. Tell Mrs. Foster you can't use a medium sandpaper on a fence like this. You listen, Miss Foster? Well, if we were in the Navy, I'd have them scraping it. Scraping it? <laughs> yes, sir. Even if you are my grandson, the Navy comes first. <laughs> better get the paint. Wait, this is my job, Mike. I can't even use medium sandpaper to jump All right. If we're not adult enough to work out our own solution, then uh, let's leave the decision up to the grown-ups. I'm sorry, Mr. Kincaid. I don't see how you can find fault with my sandpaper when you haven't even seen it. 
It isn't fair. Now, look, if you're gonna do a job right, what's the sense in not using the best material you can get? Our sandpaper is far from cheap. Mr. O'Casey, you've known Hal for years. Why, he's not cheap in any way. Why, he'd give you the shirt off his back, wouldn't he? Why, sure. I was just telling Al the other day when I called for a clean sweep down, four and a half, they Hang did on, it. There, now, now, hold that... on, hold on. You're all mixed up. I'm talking about sandpaper, not people. <laughs> well? Okay, it's a deal. Now, listen here. A what not shelf is not a picket fence. Is it okay, sir? That's right. Nowadays, the Navy... Sure they do. When I was in the Navy, we had beans for breakfast every morning. Hey, see, the boy's got the job. Hi, Harry. Hi, Harry. Morning, Miss Foster. Hi, Mr. Harry, Pinkett. what do you think about sandpaper? Go on, now tell Miss Foster. Yeah, beans. <laughs> Navy beans. Well, now, you see, that all depends on whether you're using an electric sander or not. And chip beef on a shingle, if you are lucky. <laughs> now, there's this fellow over on, uh, over on H Street. I forget his name. Well, anyway, he's got this electric sander. You see, it all depends on whether you're using... Hey, watch it, will you? Sander or the Keep your hand off my side of the fence. You're ruining my paint job. Look, Mike, it wasn't your job in the first place, and I get stuck picking all the braces and supports, and you get the better brushes. You only have to paint about as half as much as I do. If you paint as well as you gripe, you might do a pretty good job. Susie, Susie, come back here with that rake, will you? Every healthy old man wants to talk to you. Susie, give Daddy the rake. Mr. Kinkia here. When I was in the Navy, you lived out of your sea bag, and that was it. Mr. Kincaid. Hey, boy, where's that lemonade? Here. Oh, thank you. That's seven cents, Mr. Black. Regulation gear only. Everything squared away. Dressed blues and undressed blues and whites rolled and secured with clothes stops. No Irish pennants. What? Of course, you could always use paint remover. Too expensive. Blowtorch be the best thing. Have to be careful, though. Might burn the whole fence down. Well, that just doesn't seem possible. Certainly it's possible. Just like setting a match to it. Now, of course, I'm not saying you don't have to be careful with paint remover, too. Why, you know, one spark and kaboom. Seven cents, Mr. Just like oil. Now, when I was stationed on a tank... Well, Rose and Jones, it just doesn't seem possible. Why, Foster, how in the world are you? I haven't seen you in a month of Sundays. Well, I think about you all the time. Hal and I were talking about you just the other night. Oh, well, now that's real sweet of you. Yes, and I saw Della Buchanan at the post office the other day. Oh, how is Della? Well, she was asking how in the world you were, and I was so ashamed because I just didn't know. Well, well I, I think it's a shame we never see each other, living on the same block and all. I was saying exactly the same thing to Wilma Ramsey. Well, who is Wilma? She has a new dining room set. Oh, no, I mean her hay feet. <laughs> Seven cents, please. Yeah, can I have another one of those sandwiches? I got one for 15 cents. 15 cents? The last one only cost me a dime. Seven cents, please. Seven cents. And if you think duty on a tanker is a snap, you've got another thing coming, mate. Why, heck yes. And it wouldn't be the first town that burned the ground that way, either. So when I said the smoking lamp was out, it was out. Why, one more spark and... Seven cents, Mr. That's right. Look at the Chicago fire. Nothing left but a bunch of brick chimneys and foundations. Of course, it's okay now. Well, see, the Jensen's are finally getting their fence painted, huh? Darn it. Hey, boy. Here. Well, thanks, Mr. Kincaid. And keep change, keep change. Gee, thanks. Yeah, old Mr. Jensen's been telling me he wanted to fix a place up himself, but his arthritis just won't let him. Well, I've been trying to get over and help the Jensen's, but I just don't have the time. Mm. You can't smoke cigarettes on a U.S. Navy tanker loaded with 100,000 gallons of gasoline. Right. How about that fire up at Cedar Grove last year? One careless smoker and a thousand acres of timber up in flames. 
Well, the way the population is growing, there soon won't be any timber left. There's more people than trees now. You can have this one for half price if you let Huey and me use some of your milk boxes. But talk about things disappearing. Sounds like a pretty good deal, Chip. Pretty if good. you want to worry about something yeah. giving out, how oh, about boy, coal? Hey, oh, be sure you put them back now. You can replant timber, but it takes millions of years to make coal. Sure. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to tell you that I had a girl in every port. But I remember one time in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Oh, were you in the Navy? Well, of course, Fern's tied down. What does she expect? You can't have three babies in four years and not be tied down. Oh, I, I feel sorry for Fern, but, but I got my own worries. Want some chairs? Well, thank you. Ten cents, please. <laughs> Isn't that cute? My tree. Oh, well, that's awfully nice to you, Verda. Thank I don't you. know what to say. Oh, my. <sighs> I haven't sat down all day, and I shouldn't be doing it now. Hal wants an early dinner, and I haven't even you thought about it. You haven't even made my bed. And if I don't get those curtains back on the window, Hal's going to have a fit. Oh, I know. Now, could you sit down and relax for five minutes? Well, that's just you, my point. Just... See, coal and oil are not growing things. It takes millions of centuries for those uh, giant ferns and uh, prehistoric animals and stuff to uh, rot down into a bunch of carbon and... Uh, and uh, decompose into uh, coal, and uh, and we're using it up overnight. Oh, no. You don't just take your pick and shovel down to Okie Finoki Swamp and stand there and wait for it to turn to coal. It takes time to decompose. That's right, and everybody knows about it, too. But why don't they do something about it instead of just talk? Talk, talk, talk. That's all anybody ever does. Talk, 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 talk. <laughs> But you've got your mother. Mother? Why, Verda, that just isn't fair. You know my mother never lifts a finger with the washing. You know what she said to me. She said... Boy, talk about your great moments of history. Yeah, every guy at the plant stopped dead in his tracks. Well, you could have heard a pin drop all over town. And whammo, right over the left field wall, and four runs across the plate. <laughs> all the plants. That was a pretty little blue-eyed darling. She had a dimple right there, deep as that, in her cheek. That's right. And the weather's not like it used to be, either. Hotter in the summer and cold in the winter. Well, you don't see girls like that anymore in the movies. Get your own gun tomato! Yeah, and how about food? We had a peach tree on our place, used to give peaches that big. Juicy, sweet. Uh-huh. And remember uh, Billy Dove and Leah was Joy? <laughs> Sugar was bitter compared to them. What's the matter with you? My Berta Foster. I never said my mother was a burden. Lillian Gish in Broken Blossoms. Mighty sad. What the heck are you talking about? That's the first decent game he pitched all season. Oh, yeah? It looks like you painted it with your eyes shut. Well, I'll have you know I get a lot of compliments on that dress. And it was far from cheap, too. Only three cents a pound. Get your banana squash. And drinking water. Don't know how long it's been since I've had a good cup of drinking water. Boy, talk about excitement. That was the greatest series I ever played. Of course, the whole thing was rigged. Rhubarb! Fresh rhubarb! Well, my mother said that if you don't make her stop sucking her thumb, she'll... End up on a pension like the rest of us. I guess some people just never learn to keep still. Silent movies were better than talkies. Talk's cheap. Yeah? Well, put your money where your mouth is. People should just keep their opinions to themselves. And in my opinion, look, buddy, everybody's got a right to his own opinion. Well, she had two stitches taken in. William S. Hart. Watch for Tonsils. St. Louis cards. Raspberry! Penicillin. Diapers. Toronto maple leaf. Tomatoes! Celluloid collars. Nazamoba. Diapers. Asafetida bags. Lara Kimball Young. 
die of hers. Horse and buggy, Cincinnati Red Lake. Pola Negri and Cedar Barra. Oh, my gosh, Hal's home. Be right there, honey. Oh, Berta, don't tell me it's that time already. That can't be right. Yeah, looks about that time. OK, Edna, be right over. Boy, I better be getting that truck back to the dairy before they send the police out for it. <laughs> Man, thanks a lot. I'll have to make tracks, so I'm going to get to the short ribs, Don. Yeah, I don't have time to stand around here. Got my own on the water. Well, I'd sure like to give the Jensen's a hand, but I just don't have the time. I know what you mean. You know, there hardly seems to be time enough nowadays to help yourself, let alone helping others. Here's to see Mr. King Thank you, Harry. Hey, Chip, you fellas get those boxes back in the truck. Get home in time for dinner. Yeah, it's all set, Harry. Hey, Bob, hop in the truck. I'm going right by your plate. Thanks, hey, Harry. Bowling meets Tuesday night. You going to be there? You betcha. Nice talking to you, Casey. I'll be seeing you, Kincaid. Take care of yourself. Yeah. After all, Roseanne, we deserve to treat ourselves to a good time once in a while. That's right, honey. And I don't mean the drugstore, either. I mean a nice cafe where we can have a really good lunch. Sure, we'll put on our print dresses and get all gussied up. We'll show them. We may be married, but we're not dead. I the Navy. Why, well, I've worn out more sea bags than you have socks. Mrs. Jensen said to write out the bill, slip it under the door, and Mr. Jensen will drop the money by our place around dinner time. Looks pretty good. Yeah, that's what I call a bunch of good neighbors. This make you happy? Yep, that makes me happy. You know, that paint job changes the look of the whole place. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> well, what do you think I am? What do you, did you do that for? What did you do this for? This was my What do you think I am? I've been in the face with this. You think I'm a canvas or something? I mean, I get painted over there and I get painted over here. What about this? Well, well I was by accident. Painted. You did this by purpose. Well, how did our uh, two money grabbers do today? Well, I've never seen two happier pirates in my life. They're upstairs right now getting dooted up to go out and spend the loot, yeah, I guess. I suppose. Where'd they make the killing? Jensen's over on uh, Maple Street. You don't mean old Carl Jensen. Yeah. You mean to tell me they took money from them? Why, those poor old folks haven't got enough. Well, don't for... jump on me for it. I tried Mike! to tell... Mike! Robbie! Come on down here. I want to talk to you. You two gangsters better get down here. Your money, dad's home. Money. It's all late. Hello. Yes, this is... Oh, come on, Robbie. Cut it out. I'm not following you. I'm just walking behind you. I gotta get down some way, don't I? Well, walk in front of me. <laughs> yes. Well, thanks for telling me. Yes. Goodbye. Uh, what do you, you want? call us that? Yeah, that was uh, Mr. Jensen on the phone. Oh? He was telling me about that envelope you put under his door. Well, what's the trouble? Yeah, well, what about it? Well, all I can say is I don't think you fellas are going to get very rich by uh, writing no charge on your bills. Well, we, uh, we couldn't take money from people like the Jensen's. I'm glad you figured it out that way. It was a darn nice thing for you to do. Well, besides, it was kind of fun. Of course, we're just as broke as we ever were. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Dad. Uh, how about uh, doing something for somebody sometime? <laughs> yeah, just to somebody for something. Or just to, for somebody, sometime just to do something for... Dad, how about loaning us a couple of bucks? There you go again. I was just about to say that same thing. What do you mean? How am I supposed to know what you're going to say every well, minute? why don't you listen? Look, like I got my own thoughts, too, every time I... <laughs> well, like I was saying, every time I say something, I'm like, every time you say something. 